Hello everyone and welcome to Expecto Ridiculum. I'm Alex and today we're watching Apothecary Diaries. It's my first time reaction to this anime. I have never watched it. This series has been requested by my Patreons and YouTube audience who all voted in poll. And as you know, I always listen to your voice. The only thing I know about anime is when I was trying to do this anime inspired outfit. You have to forgive me the lack of the dress, but I was trying to go with the spirit of the era and make it look slightly Chinese. Although I think this pattern is a little bit too Japanese. But as you know, I do things on budget. Otherwise, how would I afford this new microphone and a PC, which will allow me to do some reactions to movies soon. Some of them you can already find on my Patreon. I've also started reacting to the One Piece live action show, it's all linked below. And if you are watching my reactions on my YouTube channel, that means that we are far ahead with reactions on my Patreon. Now, for those of you who haven't seen this title yet, a young maiden is kidnapped and sold into servitude at the Emperor's Palace, where she secretly employs her pharmacist skills with the help of the head Elno to unravel medical mysteries in the inner court. Wow. Now that sounds really good. Apothecary diaries. So that means those are diaries of a pharmacist, right? So the anime is actually happening a really long time ago. And I saw the visuals and I was really stunned. I have already watched a few anime who happened in ancient times. For example, my favorite one was the story of Sankoku that is also happening in ancient China. And I love this anime so much that I have actually watched it three times. If you haven't seen it and you're looking for something that is a little bit similar to Apothecary Diaries, then I truly recommend you to watch Sankoku Monogatari because I honestly have a feeling that this anime is very similar to Apothecary Diaries. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks! It's already... you can already tell it's nicely animated. Has she been kidnapped in the past? Oh yeah, that's what that's what the synopsis have said. So lively in those costumes. Oh my god, we'd love to have one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, courtesans are expensive indeed. <laughs> and so beautiful. <laughs> Why? Oh, I was worried she might be abused by someone. Explosions! I really like this girl. I guess that's a no-no. Well, you are very pretty, so perhaps that's why. <laughs> So she really got kidnapped? I guess there is nothing she can do, right? So beautiful though. I mean, this animation of flowers looks so real. So she couldn't return home. Is that true? Because あとは大切なものを失った元男性である観願だけ観願仙人の王女体だ。わあ。上級費や中級費、下級費と違って私たちのような使いっぱしりの下女はいつ命をな。あは、I <laughs> Must be hard to be a servant in such a massive place. Moji no yomi kaki ni nareba hanashi wa betsu da. Moji ga yomete o kyukin ga angatta to shitemo, 
She's so smart. Hmm. ずっぴき肉なし体験。It's <laughs> literally what I do at my job. I'm so staying low. Like, no, I would know that I have a YouTube channel. Well, even if it's super beautiful, it's still an Aonu. Oh, is that him? It's definitely good looking. What's happening? しょう。もう仕上げないのですが。そうですか。まだ3ヶ月と半年だっけ。そうそう。東宮と倫理姫のお二人ともよ。いや、やっぱり呪いなのかな。何の話?まあまあを知らないの。今高級な岩この噂で
Oh dear. Mikado wa ikinoko to hime sama o itsukushin de gyokuyo sama no moto ni kayotte iru n datte. Rifa sama no tokoro e wa? Senzen uwasa kikanai na. Tsumo no i koto de. Ah, konna tokoro ni ita. Huh? Ima sugu kyukanchou no heya ni kuru yo ni to no koto da. Nan no yo da ro. Because I hope that nothing will happen to her. Gejo ga erai hito ni yobi dasareru nante. Iya na yokan shika shinai. It must be that man looking for her. What was Momo doing that her dress was cut and so sewn back? Woman! <laughs> it's a man! Where do I recognize this for actor from? さてはシャオランが言っていたものすごく美しい観覧というのはこいつのことか。もったいないな。that's the least of your worries for now, Momo. <laughs> Have you seen those eyes? Ominous. Wait, what's going on? Oh my god, I did realize! Now she's a suspect number one. Love the attitude, though. Pretend to be dumb. So much easier. ひまじんすぎるだろ。何を頼められるのやら。生きて帰ってこれるといいけど。かのものを連れてまいりました。どうぞ。手数をかけました。お。え、あ、はい。あなたが。リンディの命を助けていただき。Oh, <笑> <笑>何か勘違いをされているのです。否定して首をはねられると困るが、関わり合いにもなりたくない。実は玉葉皮からあるものをお預かりしている。これは下女の仕事着に使われるのだと知っているか。そういえば、あ、it's <笑> スカートの裾でも咲いたのだろうか。説明してもらおうか。なぜ尺投げの枝を窓辺に置いたのだ。あの日、事件の真相に気づいたからです。原因はお城だと。高級お城を使っている儀女は多くいました。そしてほとんど
poison and rice. Ooh, nasty. Interesting first. Interesting first episode of the anime. Not only it's visually stunning, but we've got here a very calm and cool composure girl who despite being kidnapped totally understands her situation, knows that she's completely powerless and she will have to serve until the debt is paid. But also she's very kind-hearted because she didn't want it to stand idle seeing what's happening in the palace. So she left them a message, literally risking her life. And even though she's done it in such a smart way, there was someone, a name, a, an owner named Jinshi, who totally figured out how to lure her out and she even got promotion. So it's like a really wonderful story. And yes, I'd like to say that I wasn't expecting this to happen, but I have watched some historical anime as well as historical dramas with slightly similar setting, whether they were Korean or Chinese or Japanese. I kind of felt in which direction the story was going. I feel really excited because it's not going to be boring. Our main character is really badass. Like, I really like her. Like, she does her own experiments on herself or she explodes things. Oh, that, that makes me remember about my past. Experimenting laboratories and all sorts. It was a good time. But anyways, thanks for watching with me. As always, you can find my reactions in full length, 100% opacity, early released with Patreon exclusive titles and movies linked below. So I encourage you to check it out. Thank you very much to my Patreons. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. And see you in the next episode. Bye.